So where are the women? Like, how do dwarves, you know? Oh, this no, guy. it's so important! Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, also thanks, thanks for, for subbing. subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if y'all not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Overlord is starting now. Orewa, Rock Lee Lee Des. Orewa, a darkable Des. Watashi Wa, direct nasty. Yo, we are jumping into Overlord. Nice, nice episode that we saw last time. We got some of the Demiurge and Albedo dialogue, and then we met up with uh, the what, the dwarf aspect, right? So, how did you guys feel about Albedo and Demiurge, right? I kind of feel like she manipulated him. I don't know how intentional it is, but... I do believe she manipulated him. Yes. But not the direction I thought it was gonna go. Okay. Because we know Anz has been saying his little doubts about like, yo, I want this to be a utopia, but we know in the background. It's, it's... Oh yeah, Anz truly doesn't want it to be a utopia though. He truly yes. wants to be a utopia. So I thought, I thought when Alberto did her little influence, it would have pushed more that way, but more so it was, oh, you a baby? You keep wanting to talk to Anz? You want your praise in person? I'm some people moving in the background and just doing stuff to so stop asking so many questions. Basically, whatever little reigns or whatever little updates I'm just gonna be getting from Demirish, like I said in the last one, if he's not getting those anymore, don't be surprised. And the eyes is just gonna pop up somewhere and shit. Basically, what already's been happening. <laughs> I like how you put it because back to the utopia aspect, right? Mm -hmm. Ainz always is gonna be pushing towards a utopia, but his underlings are not, especially Demirish, right? They're, not. They're pushing towards world domination. And how all that it entails. It. It's literally, the Emirates is literally going to be doing stuff that's the opposite of you of a utopia. And seeing how Ainz is going to respond to it, and it's kind of, I would imagine he's going to kind of go along with it, but trying to try to get to pivot. But he doesn't really try to get him to pivot. All right, here it is. Demiurge does whatever Demiurge does, right? Yeah. Ainz says, great, great. Yes, you're doing exactly what I thought of, right? And then he goes off and thinks he's plans, right? Uh -huh. But he he really doesn't tell or go into the nitty gritty with Demiurge. No. So as much as he wants a utopia, he'll say that, do things like, you know, uh, uh, turn a whole country into a vassal state, right? <laughs> but he doesn't intend to. And then watching how Demiurge will respond doing non-utopia planning is crazy. Honestly, you guys are just watching me talk in like craziness. But it's just me realizing that this is a fucked up scenario. And now hear me out. Yes. It could look like a utopia on top, but we know the dirt's gonna be underneath. But a lot of times it's like, yo, you kind of have to have balance. Daniel said all things don't have balance. So if you have a, what looks like a utopia on top, but you know on the ground you're running drugs and shit, it's kind of like, is it that bad? That's not for anybody to answer. Dress Rosa. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't ask questions. It just hit the internet and the internet's like, oh, I see why you said that. Yep, that's all I gotta say. That is how many empires that look flourishing are. You know, like, you know, if I want, like, let me not say hi. No, go ahead. There Talk are about people. Or, I mean, there are people who want to build great nations. So they, you know, they enslave people. Get yeah, another group of people to work on the railroad system and all that stuff. Perhaps trade drugs with some foreign country and they get in trouble for it. Yeah. I don't know. Dang, oh. it's crazy. All Sometimes right. Sometimes you're looking up, but you're really looking north. <laughs> Going forward with the dwarf aspect of the story, what'd you guys think about that part? Because I feel like there were two halves. I liked it. I like where it's going. I, mean, I say take them all out. What? Take who? Who? Everyone. Who's the, everyone? The wolves, the dwarves. Why the dwarves? We need them. We need them. Well, why are we taking them out? <laughs> We're taking them out for ourselves, not to kill them. Oh, I mean, okay, unless they okay. go Bring against them. science. Unless they she go against science. She means put them under the sorcery king. If they, oh, if they okay. decide to rebel, I don't rebel, understand either. Did you say we them need out, them? But okay, no, no, no. Uh, I see us taking out yeah, these wolves. Right. Uh, and the process. No, 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 no. We're keeping the wolves. We're keeping the wolves. Oh, I misread her. I was wrong. We don't need she to take, take out them the dwarves, out. take what we need, keep the wolves. Got it. I mean, keep no, no, no. Keep wolves and the dwarves, right? But if there's only rebelling, first we're gonna use obviously um, Shaltier because she can do that whole like 
mind thing where they like, yeah, the charm thing, the spell. I actually forgot that. Charm them, you know, make them do it out of their own will. Yeah, she laid it on the wall. Something like that, yeah. But but if he doesn't want to do that because he wants Utopia, right? Let's assume he doesn't want her to keep doing that with everyone. And, and, you know, just pick those who, who want to come with them and those who don't stay in the cave. I say, uh, burn down the cave. <laughs> no, you see so in the building or anything. There's one burn small down. detail. Did you guys notice that when, uh, when Shaltir did the charm, uh, Ayn said, she's my master, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes me question, and the anime is going to reveal it. What are the limits to this potential charm? Like, why would Ayn say that? I think Ayn said it just because he wants her to be in charge, like to lead a group and stuff. Because he's also having her, um, what was it that he told uh, the little one? He told her- Aura or Mara? Aura, Aura, Aura. I think it's Aura. I can't remember which it one. It is Aura. Which. Aura. He told Aura that he wants her to start like yes. leading and stuff or Aura. Aura. to progress, to change her character because she's still in like default. Like she feels like she doesn't know what to do now after that whole, thing that happened with her. So, you know, she's trying to make up for it. So then she tells Shaltir like, oh, come on, it's simple. He wants you to do this, this and this. So now she's taking notes and she's trying to learn and stuff. So yeah, basically I think him saying she's like the master and stuff, he's gonna have her delegate this army and see how she for learns and, and to grow. I thought he did that with the uh, Coptis, Kakaitis. Yeah, but specifically in this scenario, because Shaltir had used magic, right? To get people to like do what it, answer her questions, I don't feel there was a need for Ayn to say, that's my master. But the fact that he did it made me feel like there was a potential weakness in the spell, like it only had its limits. Mm -hmm. So he like he needed to say something to foster the fact that she is true leader, right? But your explanation makes me think, oh nah, it has nothing to do with the weakness in the spell. It's him letting her manage and delegate because he wants to see her grow and, and go further. I think it's also because she she only charmed like the leader of the pack. Correct. And the rest of them weren't listening, like the rest of them are listening like they're not charmed. So he wants everyone else to know from the pack like she is the master as far as they're concerned. And almost the hides the fact that she even used a charm ability. Yes. They may not even realize that there's a charm happening. So they're just listening because they think their leader is just truly like. I don't want to have to talk. I was like, I don't answer. I'm gonna have to wait till the end. So I was like, let me bring it around full circle. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was one last final point, and I was holding it, but I, it's, I think it's gone. In which case, if no I one wants to listen to Shaltier, all those who disobey Ein's al Ghul, burn them in the cave. In the cave. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump into Overlord, folks. If you guys haven't subscribed, now's a good time to do so. We got full reactions and discussions on Patreon. If you guys like our content, smash a thumbs up, drop a comment, let us know. Also hit the bell for notifications and be sure to click on our videos so you can stay in your recommended feed. If you're enjoying the Rock Daily Crew, go into the description, click on that Discord link so you can connect to us and the community. All right, let's jump into Overlord starting now. You're a coward. Actually, I lied. Ten thousands. A couple of soldiers for ten thousand. They would understand. Would wait, wait. Let. Oh yeah, no. Close that. There is no. No, one yeah, no. There's nobody left. You're right. Close that. That's oh, a nice. Nice. Oh. But the kid, don't they eat metal? Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to see. But how, how do you eat something like this? Like, how do you get your? Start scraping. You know. Oh, they covered it. This is how you create relations, baby. I see you got a problem at your front door. Seems like your wall isn't working. Looks like you need a nigga to come kill some things for you, boy. Is he projecting that or they see that? You're gonna kill all the wolves? That'll take way too long. <laughs> Dance's business not progress. Facts! Executive decision? Bypassing the Supreme Court? I support this. Wait, are they wolves or rats? I can't tell. The tail's behind them look wolves. weird. They do have rat tails. Right? They That's what do. I'm saying. I'm like, why is the tails like that? Oh, and look shit. at their hands. Like, it's like, oh, are oh, they rats? Maybe fifth. Oh, my lord. It might be like some sort of hybrid. Because mice have teeth, you know? Oh, they're sending death out nice. to work. 
That the whole desert, shield was like the size of a door. It was. They never got on the offensive. They literally only play defense. Yo. I feel like two Death Knights could wipe out this whole entire Koala thing. Yeah, I do too. What is those? Damn. Jeez. Done. Done. Oh, they're massive. Turn doors? <laughs> what are they run? Doors? Yeah, I think they're rats. No, I think you're right. Dark will I abandon my logic. Yo, I've never seen them run. Dang. Get bodied. Yeah. They look like wolves at first, but now I'm like looking at them. Like, yeah. Oh, you can't. Death Knight's finna jump. Only two Death Knights. Oh, what a you gangsta. Like Are you built like that, my boy? Oh, I respect yes. it, nevertheless. Oh! Damn, Left all his people to his die. Man, yeah, they were gonna go anyway, oh. the rest of them. Oh. This Death Knight, why? Death Knight just There's still working on the way down. I think he was trying to get this one. Oh. It threw it right at him. I think you're missed. right. Please climb up. Please climb up. Retreat? Oh. Retreat? I feel like retreat should not be an option. It's here. Eliminate. Oh, that's what scared him. It was just an accident. <laughs> I can't! Poor guy. It's nothing! He didn't watch the fight? They just fell to their death. Basically. Maybe that fall wasn't enough to actually kill them. There's a potential the fall was enough to kill them. I'm with y'all. I think they just died because they fell. They sh clearly showed us. No, I don't get it. <clears throat> That's funny. Are there seven of them? They said there was a council, right? <laughs> if there's seven, <laughs> you can name them. You know what I mean? <laughs> How many is there? Five. Ah. At least I counted five. And I'm also done. I think there might be more than seven, actually. Oh, no, there's seven. There are? <laughs> seven doors. Where's Snow White? But don't expect a discount. Damn. Oh, wait, 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 the source? He would go that far, bro. The now I don't guy? Like clans, bro. I don't like these clans. Oh, the frost dragon. <laughs> no, I'm with him, bro. He told you. Hmm, that's angry. Facts. That has a constant trait. Oh, he said he could help the other side. Yeah. The rune smiths. Is he saying this out loud? Yeah! He's like, you sound so stupid right now. Producer. Yeah, there's more than seven. They're like, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> He's just working on his beer. Oh, they all He's done have the their gangsta. Good for them! <laughs> nah, they all spitting, bro! They all spitting! <laughs> Any of my enemy, bro. What's a couple rune smiths, right? Get my ten them bitches. It's not like they were using them. Thank you. Let you guys go. Make a nice little committee. Well, what could they really do? Oh, okay. Labor laws. So food, clothes, housing. Mm -hmm. Good hours, oh, benefits. How subjective. 
These are all the room smiths, and I don't think they've been told what's about to happen. So where are the women? Like, how do dwarves, you know? It's actually interesting that I haven't actually quite considered where are the women. Have I you always, directed? I always, I always ask that question. I'm like, how are dwarves even made? It's Overlord. Well, I'm looking for the shoddies for. Booze. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't tell me this is the repayment. I'm guessing this is how he's gonna repay them when they go. Stop, Shaltier! Oh, never mind. I guess Shaltier is in line. I think he's trying to keep Shaltier in line. I, I agree. Because she might go off at any moment. Why is that? I think it was like his. Touch me, son, right? Yeah. And the enemy is gonna reveal. Oh, wow. Dwarves love good challenge. If you tell Dwarf you can't do signs, I'm like, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a work presentation for him, bro. Look at my PowerPoint. <laughs> oh. I believe so. Damn. He's gonna open up a scholarship fund for dwarves. <laughs> Oh, they didn't even know. They they were talking about all this stuff even having the sauce. Yo. Uh. <laughs> oh, he, now, yeah. They won't be using it. Are uh, they whispering? Yeah. <laughs> he knew how to talk to Ainz, bro. I give him credit. Yeah. He's like, Ainz responded, I didn't see anything. Yeah. I said, I won't see anything. He's I feel like I'll get sent in blindness when I pass <laughs> Treasury room. Hmm, <laughs> come on. Put it together. They didn't. They didn't. <laughs> Poor shout here. Oh, I thought she was scratching her head preemptively. <laughs> oh. Put it together. She's smelling. The death knight's never made to this side. Listen to your people, lines. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is no, it's so important. That's us. That literally is. Oh, what a shame. Alright, <laughs> now! It's fine. Death Knight's not made it to the side. <laughs> right? That's what I was thinking. But not your dwarf. He's not undead. <gasps> Titania? That's some elf magic, isn't it? You said Britannia? Titania. Oh, no, Britannia. That's my homie. All the way from season one, right? I remember that. I remember Me that. Me too. Liv I, just, I didn't remember Frost, though. I didn't remember Frost. I just remember Dragon and him talking about it and the mountains. I just didn't know these were the same mountains. Same. But I figured oh, we were going to get Dragon eventually. Oh, he looks so cool. We know we saw about that. He's chilling with his oh, wife. Yo, he, yeah. Hey, Mary, living That's the life. homie, man. Oh, yeah, he's just living the Mary life, bro. Oh, Procreating and marrying. Glory Nazareth, Glory Nazareth, man. I think Sabas is my favorite NPC, though, for real. Out of, out of his squad. Yeah, everyone is crazy. He's the only one that's not like, well, Cactus is all right, too. 
They're all crazy because of their masters. So I'm not saying crazy. Sebus has a good Sebus master. Is crazy. You know Sebus' the master was like a with. hero or whatever. Remember? Mm -hmm. So they believe in justice. So his is like positive points or something versus the others who are negatives. What's wrong with cock? Cock? Cockitis? I don't know if he's. I don't know. He is it the way I said it or just. No, he just want to be sat and ridden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he don't just go around murking people and calling them insects and stuff like he that. He doesn't, he doesn't. That's he has I'm... respect for the lizard people. He saved them. The, the two elves, the dark elves, are on Mara. Even then, they cool. But nah, I feel like they nah. might just break my arm just out of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ah! That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't I know. I like, nah, nah, they're a problem. Smile on Mara! Bro, they, they, they just be killing people with a smile what? on their you know face. What? You, know you remember that I, bandit I can, in season yeah, one? Yeah, that's what I can never, yes. I can never forget. There's two, tree. There's, there's two things I can never forget. When she went to go retrieve, when they went to go retrieve, the one shotty from the six, eight fingers, we gotta take you back now. <laughs> yes. That, that's oh, the one. That was it's, crazy. I was going to defend three. them. There's that one. And she was dragging her by the hair or something. Yes. And she was like, please stop, stop. And she's just like, why are you crying so much? <laughs> they have a lack of, uh, not insensitive. Empathy. Empathy. Or, Empathy. Or sympathy. They can't feel any pain. They, so. they beat a bandit against a tree, like, senselessly with a smile on their face. Yeah, remember they were chasing them. animals in the forest before they met um, Hamsky? Yes. They were the just running around. The animals like, got, mm, you're, a, you're a cat person. You're right, you're right. And then the fifth one, or oh, I don't know how I got to five, <clears> but <throat> when they showed up in the kingdom, in front of Nyx and just body oh, people. Oh, yeah. Just mad the people just died. Didn't, they, didn't they show up riding a dragon or something and they were like warning the king at the emperor? Yeah, they were just going there on the orders of iron. No, nah, I'm not mad at them, but hear me out. Every time I <laughs> I watch like Madam President or House of Cards or something like that, oh, President cards. issues a drone strike, right? And they're like, yo, there's families there, Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President. Damn. Yeah, no. <laughs> what is what I have to do for the country? But Ara and Mara like, yeah, Jones right, nigga. Who, who gets the Casamigos? Party. Honestly, honestly. Thank you. Thank you. You kept you. exactly where I was gonna go. I got you. Thank you. Amara, they both the Casamigos. Amara isn't that like crazy. She's he seems a little more like iffy, but Aura is crazy like Shaltier. She doesn't have the bloodlust. That's it. Like once there's bloodlust in Shaltir, she turns the switch and goes complete psycho. But she acts the same way as Shaltir does when she's like murking people. She's just smiling and, and dissing them the whole time. But when I, she gets a taste of blood, she starts losing it. I think it's because they're just they're, they're they're just kids in elf years. They're just kids. They're mad powerful, but they're kids in dark elf years. So they just see Merc, ha! Ah, Dad, you 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 happy? Yeah, you did the right thing. Boom, going on. Anyways, Amara though is like iffy. What do you guys think about this episode? Uh, the dwarves give them much credit, bro. Yo, as soon as Ainz walked out to him, like, yo, fuck that nigga, right? I was like, fuck him. We can't trade with this dude. And they're like, but hear me out. That's the empire. That we ain't doing empire. shit anyways. He's like, gonna get us the capital back. We just like, you and a bunch of niggas we don't really care about. What you're saying is we need to make a prisoner trade to potentially get something we need? I bet. I like how they showed two sides. They showed the side of them with Ainz in the room. Big thugs. Yeah, and then when he left the room. Bitches. So the, the reason why I appreciate it is because sometimes when you're in the room, right, without seeing the other side, so I'm like, yo, why y'all acting like this? Why y'all saying this shit or whatever? And then when Ainz left and they went to their real mode, I'm like, oh, all that was just politics. Yeah, bro. And then like, I always, I, I know politics. I know politics. But I would have lost sight of that. I would have judged these elves, or these dwarves. Like, what the fuck is going on? See, I just call them a derogatory term in their language. Can't call a dwarf an elf. Anyways, uh, I'd have been like, yo, why are you acting like this? But then I saw both sides. Like, oh, they know exactly what they're doing. Even if they screw up, they at least have the know-how to try. You know, we got to piece through strength, act like we don't need this nigga. But we we, we know that we would have went down. That was a oh, good depiction of, of the politics, in my opinion. I like seeing the, the dwarves and stuff. I know there was eight, but... The one who was like yelling at him, talking about whatever, I was like angry. That's angry right there. You can kind of see characters like each of nah, them kind of stand out there. just a little bit. Drowsy was the Drowsy brew was master. Like the... Was the brewmaster one? They were all there. You saw it? I didn't see yeah, it. You can see a little characteristics. Not all of them had them, but like angry it when he just burst it out. It was there, bro. Credit to them for not only stepping to him but requesting something too. They're like, no, 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 we're not just gonna let you help us. Right? We want them to send investigators. We'll give you the people you want, but we're sending people to. They set terms and boundaries. And a lot of like, look at Nyx. Nyx didn't do that. Nyx was like, take it! I don't want it! Oh, man, thank you. Thank you. Nyx what a like, good ass Nyx point. Nyx was like, just go, bro. Just go. Just what take a good it. ass I don't want point. No more. And these people on the verge of destruction. 
Knicks and people are sitting pretty, bro. They lost a bunch of Barons, but they're rebuilding, right? But like, he had no reason just just take it all. The Doors are like, mm. all I'm right. Play, I'm play devil's advocate. That's why they're the brink of destruction because they didn't cave in soon enough and do diplomacy. They kept their pride to us. Like you have an overwhelming enemy or opponent or ad whoever. I think they said you can't diplomacy with those quagua because that's even what Ayn's came also to. Also true. Yeah. I was just saying that like, like Nick's Nick's intelligence just when it came to over Ayn's is just it was it's just that was not the person who used that intelligence. It doesn't work with him, you know. So these people, it's just. I don't have the right words. It's something that they, it's something to marinate on for like a whole week, but it still makes sense. It's like, yeah, that's also why you're on the verge of destruction, possibly, but you also make sense because the people that they're on the verge of destruction with, you 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 can't use diplomacy with. So it's it's, tough. it's, it's tough, truly man. interesting scenario. Like this is one of those scenarios that can that can branch off like five, ten opinions that all make sense. Is Nyx the the guy who who's the Empire, right? I think so. I could be bought. The one that the vassal Da Vinci's El Nix. Yeah, bro. Dorian's okay, got a lot of compliments for saying names wrong with a lot of confidence, and it's the confidence that people want. So I'm gonna learn I'm from it. I'm just trying to figure out which one. Nix is the one who who gave up his state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one like, yeah, get him more, you can't. Yeah. I'm actually, actually my I'll favorites actually so far. Yeah, I'll actually defend defend him on that point. Like he he technically he didn't he didn't do anything wrong. Like he stayed on. He was trying to test. Ains at first, and then when he realized, oh, he's too powerful, and he tried to do other moves, and he just got stressed out about, it, and he gave up at that point. But he he did everything he could to keep his nation, you know. I feel like the dwarves just had it easier because they're like, yeah, we're gonna get bodied anyways. So it's either this one or this one. We'll pick two out of the worst evils. The know? only thing that happened with Nyx, and I truly believe this, was it's very simple. He overplayed his hand. That's it. I know what it is. I'm I don't sorry. Think he overplayed it. Among many things, the Doors never saw Ainz's overwhelming power. That's Always true. remember, he, but they established enough. Knight. He was they were terrified. True, she but he, he sent, he, but he sent two dead. Death Knights. Whatever. Yeah, they were terrified. They were terrified because he was undead, and they were terrified. Not really terrified. They were terrified because he was undead. The two Death Knights cemented that. Oh, he's that dude. And he's powerful. But when on the human realm, it was the fact that Ainz wiped out like a hundred thousand people like mindlessly, and then on top of that. Proceeded to, proceeded to continue to wipe out more people. That's the perspective the emperor's like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. The, emperor, the dwarves haven't seen that side. That side of how much people that Ions can just destroy, the dwarves don't have that full perspective. True. They just get that he's strong. The emperor's like, no, no one can beat this guy, period. Which is why he was fighting so much not to be under control. Yeah. It's the information that they're both working with the in dwarves combination just know he's, with he's everything. Strong, but that's that's it. They're like, okay. Okay, we can work with this, right? And they even, you know, made their own rules about like, we'll send, you know, our runesmith with you, but we need someone to go there every once in a while to check to make sure they're okay. It's almost like they're like, on my, on my end, like to wrap it up, it's like, you're talking to somebody, like you're talking to Ainz, it's like, yo, you know, I'm a good guy, we're gonna do a trip. Hold on, hold on, hold on, someone's acting up real quick. Let me just nuke them real quick. Oh yeah, I just obliterate that whole country. Millions of people are gone. Let's get back to talking. Let's talk on even terms. Don't, don't worry about anything, hold on. Let's nuke somebody again. Oh, it's all good. Somebody was acting up. They made a small country, you know. But anyways, back to they, our country. Yeah. Let's talk about us. Yes. Let's talk about us. That's what's happening, man. Terrible. You man. see it though? Yeah. All right, all right. Thanks for watching Overlord with us. It's nothing but smoke, nothing but heat. Even if it's a bunch of dialogue, I truly enjoy this anime. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. <laughs> Full reaction and discussion is going to be on our Patreon. If you like our content, smash a thumbs up, drop a comment, let us know. Also hit the bell for notifications and be sure to click on our video so you can span your recommended feed. If you want to join the Rock Daily crew, go on to the description, click on that Discord link so you connect with us and the community. All right, until next time, Rock Daily. I'm Dr. Bullard. Director Nasty. Out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video, and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock T. Lee. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. Wow!